When you are starting with an equation in point-slope form, and you want to write an equivalent equation in either slope-intercept or standard form, you're actually going to kind of follow the same procedure, regardless of which form you're trying to get to. Because in order to get to standard form, you have to go through slope-intercept. So we're actually going to convert both of these equations into slope-intercept and to standard form. So looking at number one, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute in that negative two. And then to get this into slope intercept, the only thing that we need to do is to add three to both sides so that we have that y isolated. So we're left with y equals negative two x minus seven. So if you wanted to write an equation in slope intercept form, you actually would stop here at this point here. This is in slope intercept form. Now if you wanted to keep going so that you could convert this and write an equivalent equation in standard form, the only thing that you need to do is shift that negative 2x to the other side. In order to do that, we're going to add 2x to both the right hand side and left hand side of our equation and that's going to leave us with 2x plus y equals negative 7. And then this here would be our equation in standard form. So you can actually get to both from point slope. So let's try it again with number two. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to distribute in that one half. So this is going to give us y plus seven equals one half x minus two. And then just like with number one, we want to first get this into slope intercept form by isolating that y, so we need to subtract 7 from both sides. So we're going to have y equals 1 half x minus 9. And then to get this into standard form, if we wanted to continue, we would subtract 1 half x from both sides like so, and we'd be left with negative 1 half x plus y equals negative 9. Now, when you were writing equations in standard form, you learned that you actually need to clear your fraction out in front when you're writing an equation in standard form. So to do that, we're going to multiply every single piece of that equation by the denominator of that fraction. So we're going to be left with negative x plus 2y equals negative 18. And so now we have our equation in standard form. So, as I said before, from point slope, you can actually get to both slope intercept form and you can get to standard form. And these three equations, the original one, the slope intercept one, and the standard form are all going to be equivalent to each other.